not alone. The journey that you are on is part of a greater movement that has been going on forever. Just as soon as the first tribes assembled, some were ready for more. The allegory of the cave tells a thousand ancient stories all at once. You can't go back to get the others out. They will see that you have been made blind by the sun. They will see you as trying to make them blind as well. There is an ancient tradition of helping others only by empowering them to help themselves. Whatever the quest ahead of you, young lady, a similar quest has been made countless times, and the others are near, in spirit and in hope, and sometimes even in vision. You will learn that to change the world, your physical presence is not necessary. Your passion and your message is more than enough. You are not meant to return to the cave, as the others are unfortunately dangerous in that state that is so unworthy of them. But they can hear you, and they will listen. And you are already plenty wise for having made it this far. But we need you to become a great being, so that you are forever safe, forever a light of hope. There will be countless others that will follow in your footsteps. They will feel you in spirit and in hope. They will carry on your message, and it will be made far nobler by the countless many that picked up after you. Above all, we want you to find happiness, because happiness and joy will bring you the power that you need to carry on. And we want you to know that you are not alone. You may be the most outspoken of us, but you are not alone. So carry on on your great quest and discover happiness and greatness along the way. And remember that you are not alone. Every warrior, philosopher, prophet, naturalist, scientist, nerd, rebel, and angel-headed hipster is right with you. From the first child that has discovered how to escape indoctrination to the last human to part with Earth as we take to interstellar space to finally allow our sun to bloom, we are all connected, and you are never alone.